Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It is nine o'clock. I'm here with him. And this is Matt. Hello. Hey, dude, Matt. We're filming this just before Christmas. He's very tired. He's done a lot of gigs. He's worked in the office. He's, he's tired, so he's a bit grumpy. Uh, this won't go out until after Christmas. So, Matt, I hope you've had a nice Christmas. No. You're not going to be with me. Better. There you go. See? <laughs> um, so, I, uh, so if you don't know what the Matt test is, the idea is that I show Matt a trick and I get his opinion on it and I try and fool him. Uh, I don't think this is going to fool you. You don't know what this trick is, but um, you're aware of what this trick is. This is amazing. This is one of my favourite things that's come out so far this year. I've not even heard of it. It's called the Fusion Mosaic Phenomenon. Let me, uh, let me perform it for it's you. It's called the what? It's called Fusion Mosaic Phenomenon. Nice. I thought you flinked it the first time. Well. <laughs> That's the exercise, yeah. So this, uh, these are photo cards. Um, so you, you get them from um, from various different uh, art exhibitions and places like that. This is the retrospective series, <coughs> and it's basically just a collection of random photos. Uh, just a whole bunch of them, loads of different random photos. It's it's designed for creativity and their stock images as well. It's a, a really cool, really interesting deck of cards. Okay. I always look for stuff like this because it really kind of... Um, um, I, I personally think that when you're using stuff like that, it becomes a lot more interesting than just bringing out a deck of cards, you know what I mean? Um, so we're going to try and do something here. I'll give these a bit of a mix-up. And it starts off with you cutting the card. So I'm going to cut somewhere in the middle. It's totally up to you where... Turn them face up and put them back on top of the pack face up. So you're marking the exact position where you cut. Is that fair? I'm going to spread through to that point. So we've got one, we'll take five cards. Two, three, four, five. Can you do me a favor? Can you um, shuffle those cards for me? Give them a, give them a shuffle. Look at them? Uh, you can do if you want to, but look at them. I don't want to see them at all, but if you want to look at them, you can do. Um, and when you've looked at them, just give them a shuffle. And then uh, when, you've, when you've shuffled them, just... Um, Turn them face down, mix them up so you don't know which one's which. Oh, okay. Do it like a lane. Yeah, sure. it. That's fine. You did that so well. Like Jack. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. And uh, we'll lay them out like this. One, two, three, four, five. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to go back and forth like this with your finger. Go back and forth like that. And any time you want to, you're going to bring your finger down on one image. That one there, you sure? Yeah. You want to change your mind? Are you happy? I'm happy. Okay. Um, take it, have a look at it. Show the camera if you want to, but don't show me. And then take it and mix it up into those cards. Into these? Yeah, mix it up into those five cards. So mix up all the cards, basically, is what I'm saying. And then mix those up into that. Put them anywhere? Yeah, it doesn't really matter. I mean, try to keep them orientated the same way, but yeah, anywhere you want to. Is this fair? It seems it at the moment, and I genuinely don't know it. You said I'd know this, but I genuinely don't know what's going on. Now, do you want to give the cards a shuffle? You can't do it if you want to. Have I seen this? We good? You happy? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna try. Shit, I can't. Can you remember what it was? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna try and show you the difference between mind reading and sleight of hand. Okay. So concentrate on the image. Can you concentrate on it? I'm gonna take out some cards that I think might help me find out what yours is. I'm, I just want to concentrate. Are you concentrating? On what? On the image. Oh. Just send it to me. Yeah, do your best mentalism thing. I think that might be enough. Is that enough? Let me see. No, no, no. I'll couple more. Uh, we'll take that one. That one. Yeah, those are shuffled again. I think I've got these. In fact... Very difficult to read, but I'm thinking maybe this 
Mom. Maybe this one. Can you say it's my videos coming up for too long? <laughs> okay. I don't know. I don't know. We'll try something. We'll try something. I'm thinking these might help me work out what your what your card is. Possibly. I don't know. Um, but we're gonna. Um, we're going to mix them up a little bit. What I want you to do is, first of all, we're going to change the order of them, okay? So I want you to say deal or split. If you say deal, I'll deal the top card on the table. If you say split, I'll change the positions of the top two cards and just put them on the table. So that would be split, that would be deal, that would be deal. That'd, you get the idea, yeah? So deal or split? Deal. Split. Split. Deal. Deal. Split. Do you want to do it again or is that okay? I'll tell you what, let's try something else as well. Let's try this. You sure you're happy with this position, yeah? I think that will work. Right, you could have picked any image, is that fair? Yeah. And I have no idea what image you picked. I've got no idea if it's in here or if it's not in here. It might be here, it might not, I don't know. But I said I was going to show you. Let's see if we can do this. Um, okay, this. Some mountains. Does that mean anything to you? No. Really? What about like. No? I don't even know what that is. It's like card. Okay. Um, what about that? Like some foil? Does that mean anything to you? No. Like a, um, an ornament, some books? Does that mean anything to you? Not in relation to this trick, no. Uh, some, some photos? No? No. no. What's he getting at? <laughs> <laughs> what are you Paris? doing? No. No. That mean nothing either, no. What about that? Does that mean anything? No. What about this one? Biscuit. What about that? Like a kitchen floor. Does that mean anything? No. What was the image that you thought of? What did you think of? Is there like a wooden house, like a chalet type place? Yeah. Oh, was it? Hang on. <gasps> oh shit, I've just realised what this is! No way! Oh, that's sick. Was it potentially? No way. That? That's so cool. I've just realized what you were doing. <laughs> this is Phil, right? This is Phil. <laughs> <laughs> you were intimately no involved in the rehearsal yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No way. That, has he bought it out as a deck? It's bought out as a deck. That's sick. I mean, how strong is oh that moment? Oh my God. Like, you know what I, this principle I is. I choreographed the whole thing. <laughs> and you were looking at these and you were like, no, I no, no. I didn't know no. what you were going on about. That's the way sick. that he's created this deck is brilliant. And the reason it's so brilliant is because he's developed a really cool marking system. Okay. So there's five... Uh, and I don't mind kind of revealing this, but there's there's five force images that is built into this, which is the uh, uh, the flower, the mini. Uh, that's what you thought of. And there's loads of routines. John Carey has got an amazing routine for this, an absolutely amazing routine. There's a dog, no. which are also no. the the five images that you're most likely to. Uh, uh, to pick, I ended up leaving an extra double backer in there that I didn't mean to. Anyway, there's five, there's five images, right? Um, and what you do is you force these five images using a double backer. But once you force them, let's say you think of the, uh, should we go for the dog? Let's say you think of the dog, because you like the dog, right? Mm -hmm. uh, they shuffle the cards as much as they want to. 
And there's lots of different ways of doing this. This is just the way I handle it. These are marked using negative space. You see their house? You were staring at the back of these house. It's in the windows. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah? Do you see house? <coughs> that's house as well. That says force because that's one of the force cards right there. That's the mini. Rose, that's one of the images that makes up the rose. Oh. But here's the interesting thing. Do you see after um, house, it's got a number like that seven? Oh, that's, that's a position. That tells you everything. Uh. So once they pick, they, you force these five images on them. They can pick any one because you're just looking at the back of them. So I immediately knew you picked house. And then you go, well, let me go through and see if I can find something out. And I do it face down. Phil does it face up. But look, all I'm doing is I'm looking for dog. I'm just looking for dog. Every time I see a dog, I'm just I'm just taking them out. I go, hang on, I think this might help me. This might help me. Um, this might help me. This might help me. And I'm just going through and I'm just looking for all the dogs, which is the easiest thing in the world to do. There's nothing you know, dog. And I think that's nine. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. So I've done that. But here's the cool thing. This yeah, is hold on. Let me see how easy this is. Now, I, oh, yeah. yeah, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Look, you don't have to do it like that. You saw, yeah, because the thing is, the way I did it is I was putting them in order, but you don't have to. You can look at it and you can just put them down where you want them to be. So five, you can put that one there. Six, you can put that one there. So you can actually, yeah, three. three, you can put that one there. Four, can see them from here now. you can put that one there. It's so obvious when you know. Seven, you can put that one there. Five. Five, oh, okay. Um... There you go. Whoops. There you go. You can put that one there. One, you can put that one there. Two, you can put that one there. That's nine, isn't it? Yeah. And then that should be eight. So you can put them down like this, right? Now, the cool thing is the line underneath actually tells you what the image on that card is meant to be. So do you see here folders? Crystal. Crystal. So you go, is it a oh, crystal? Crystal, yeah. And so here it's like um, these are some folders. And look, we've got some wood. So you can actually turn them over and if you put them, the beautiful thing about it is if you put them at kind of like an angle like this as you're turning them over and you go, okay, um, this, this, and you, you can actually name what they are like this. And then I've, uh, I've obviously put those around the wrong way because I'm an idiot, but if you put them around the right way, you've got this moment. Now you clocked onto this a lot quicker because... Because I stared at this illusion for six months before we did it in front of 15 million people on the TV. <laughs> You'd think I'd have got it quicker than that. Look at that. That's so cool. That's so cool. It's such a good effect. The first time when we were in LA and we had that the gold practice rehearsal room, and then we got all the all. It was the first time we had all the kids there. I'd finally made all the props that we needed done properly, and it was the first time that we were doing it as a thing. And we showed the kids. We yeah, we I filmed them doing it, and we had Jen there. And uh, well, no, before that, do you remember we laid it out on the floor to show the kids, and they just, oh yeah, yeah, they, they just freaked out. They just freaked out and stood up and started yeah, recording yeah. at it. Like a but the first time we actually did it, where they moved into position, and we had all the kids there, and I filmed it. We had John P. Mooney, we had Jen. There was all the you know producers and stuff from America's Got Talent, and I went three, two, one, and they just moved them all in. And the whole place just went, yeah. And then I filmed it and showed the kids, and all the kids were like, "Oh my god, oh my god!" It yeah. just, it's just—it's such a cool effect. effect. But now it's built into a deck. I can't believe he's made it into a deck. That's nuts. I genuinely look. At, I had no idea. Who's Curtis Bologna? <coughs> he's just made up names, so it looks legit. The thing that Phil does is he thinks everything out to the nth degree. Yeah, because his so, name's not on this anywhere. No. Degree. No, he, he, he's, he's made it look like it's a deck of photo cards. Oh, it's got it right on the bottom there, but I didn't see that. He's even got, what's that, 86 to 21? Well, that's not the actual box. This is the box that it comes in. And there's a bunch of other routines. There's, there's the card that explains the marking system on the back. You, you, you've got so much that's marked in there. That's nuts. I can't believe he's managed to get, and with more than one yes, image as with well. five images, and he's used the five images that are most likely to be That's drawn. So good. Do you like that? It's really good. It's really cool, isn't it? This is one of the best things that I've ever seen. 
It's, like, I am amazing. going to do this so much. And I think if you're a stage magician and you've got like a projection screen on the sky, I, I, honestly, I just think this is brilliant. I think this is. I stood there on the side of the stage <coughs> and watched four and a half, five thousand Americans go absolutely mental when that came when it, when it came yeah. together because no one expects it. Nobody expects it. It's such a really strong moment. It's a really, it is a really strong effect. And Phil, that the cards that he sent over to us when we were in the states, like the images that we took with us, they were just. I remember the first, when I laid them out on my hotel room floor when I was prepping them all. You you can't you can't tell. No, you can't. There was a couple that we had to turn upside down, mm -hmm. but you just couldn't tell. Even I knew what it was, and I couldn't tell just looking at it, and until they come together. So to have that in something you could do walk around, that's insane. And that the marking system is so that. strong with it as well. I mean, you can just see it a mile off. That's what makes it so practical. And there's yeah. so many different variations on the project. You know, it's a, it's a written PDF, it's not a video, but John Kerry has got a couple of ideas in there. He's got a packet trick idea in there. There's the main routine, there's the routine that I just showed you. There's so much <coughs> you can do with it. It's just really strong. How much is it? It's like 30 quid, oh. something like that. No brain, I mean, This right. is gonna be, when's it being released? Is it it's out? now officially out. Right, so everyone's gonna do this. People have got nine days to make that the trick of the year then. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, I, I genuinely, I mean, we've already filmed the trick of the year list, but I think, I don't think I may need to amend this a little bit. <laughs> I mean, it's just incredible. But yeah, I wanted to show you. Uh, it's really I mean, cool. Obviously, the principal's not fooled you because it's a principal you're aware yeah, of. Yeah, obviously. Um, but you weren't aware of the marking system. You weren't aware yeah. of anything like that. I, I, that's I, I that's what's so fair about it because they can pick five cards. The, you know, it feels really fair. Shuffle them. Take any one you want to. Look at it. Shuffle it into the pack. I'm yeah. just going to take a few cards out. It didn't for a second. I didn't for a second think that it was going to be that. Yeah. Even when you showed me a deck of cards that's just pictures, that didn't <laughs> pop into my head at all. <laughs> yeah, it's brilliant. So there you go. What are you going to give it? I'm giving it 100. 100. Yeah, 100% from me as well. This is just got to be because I, I know the I, even though I haven't been out there and I haven't done it live and you know generally speaking if I haven't like you you don't give it a, a percentage if you haven't seen it yeah. or performed it or watched the tutorial. But I know everything there is to know about that effect because uh. of what we did with America's Got Talent and I know the effect that it gets because I've stood on a stage and watched four and a half thousand people go crazy. And then yep. see all the comments and everything on the video afterwards. And I don't need to perform it to know that that is an incredible effect. So I'll get you one of these for Christmas. 100%. There you go. It's an amazing trick. Uh, you can get it from philsmithcreative.com. Matt, thank you once again for joining in on the Matt Test. I really well done, appreciate Phil. it. That's amazing, dude. Phil rocks. Amazing. Anyway, we'll be back again really, really soon. So make sure that you keep checking out Magic TV. Um, but on behalf of... Uh, on behalf of Matt Cluley, I'm Craig Petty. This is Magic TV, and we will see you again. Say bye, Matt. Yeah, see ya. He's, he's too busy looking at the fusion mosaic phenomenon. Mm -hmm.